All right, so this is the second time filming this because there were issues with camera, cats, a whole fun time. <laughs> um, but I am officially placing this as my like introduction video for my channel, which is bibliography. I used to do a lot of vlogging originally, but over the years, just things have gotten a little convoluted on that channel and I really just want to do a fresh start of everything booktube-wise, just having a clear set path in front of me this time. So yeah, here we are. So I basically have two things that I'm covering in this video, um, basically mashing two tag videos together as sort of an introduction. So I found that they had some really good questions. Uh, so the first tag I'm going to be going through is the booktube newbie tag because it seems pretty fitting. Um, even though I've kind of like done a couple of random stuff here and there for a couple of years. Um, and then the bookshelf tag. The first for booktube newbie is why did you start this channel? Which I kind of said a little bit about a moment ago but basically just a fresh start into really trying to be more involved in the booktube community than I have been and just making things kind of easier to find and track and everything, <laughs> if that makes sense. What are some fun, unique things you can bring to booktube? Honestly, like, I don't really know yet. Um, I have cats. I'm a Ravenclaw. I no French. That's my main stuff. <laughs> I just do what I do. Um, really just still figuring out what I want to do honestly, but it's gonna involve books and that, that's all you really need. <laughs> what are you most excited for with this channel? Honestly, just making, just getting that clean slate for the first time and probably like a 10 year history of my stuff just being a little bit of a mess so we're gonna we're gonna do it right and we're gonna do it well and just kind of seeing how things go why do you love reading i mean what is there to be said about reading that isn't already said like it's a way to escape it's a way to learn about new stories and adventures and characters and just it's a great hobby you should try it <laughs> but you probably already have if you're here so. <laughs> what book or series got you into reading um honestly i don't know because i've been an avid reader for literally longer than i can remember i was that child who would read long after bedtime and be sneaky about it because I just, I had to in order to keep reading. <laughs> so like, I got like journal entries where I was literally reading stuff like by the light of a little princess flashing wand before I've read through flashlights. I remember in like late elementary school, I was reading a series of unfortunate events from my school library and I was reading through them at the pace of basically a book a day. <laughs> and it, a lot of that is because like after I was supposed to have gone to sleep for the night, I would just sneak into the hall bathroom and just chill on the bathroom floor for an hour or two and read at like midnight. This was like 6th, 7th grade. <laughs> yeah. What questions would you like to ask your favorite booktuber? Most questions necessarily I have kind of gotten answers for but just a lot of it was in terms of booktube stuff it was just like where to start with basically everything. And since I technically have like 
tiptoed into the whole booktube thing over the last couple years. I'm fairly familiar with some of it, but <laughs> um, some of my favorite booktubers um, are like Emma Books, Haley in Bookland, I watch a lot, um, also Books and Lala, Book Roast is the main one for sure. Uh, <laughs> The Magical Readathon was my life the last couple of years. I'm trying to think of who else. Those are like the main ones I watched. There's a bunch of others that I am not as well versed with, so like the names aren't coming to mind right away. But there's a, there's a decent bit. I think um, Books with Chloe is another one. A read by Zoe. Those. Um. Yeah. And then the last one for this tag is what challenges do you think will be hardest for you to co overcome? Honestly, just getting to this point of like making an official start on things and like doing it properly. <laughs> Next one is of course the bookshelf tag. Uh, so the first question for this one is describe your bookshelf and where you got it from. Uh, so basically like every other person. I have the white Billy bookshelves from Ikea, though mine are only three shelves tall instead of the usual six shelves tall that I see pretty much everywhere else. Um, so yeah, I've got about five of them and I'm hoping to upgrade to the six shelf ones at some point, um, but I don't know when that will be yet, but I waited in anticipation. <laughs> I've only had these fairly recently. I got these about two years ago, within the last two years. Um, before that, I just was using, um, I was borrowing bookshelves from my sister for a while. Um, and before that, I just had like this, um, this like white wicker bookshelf dresser combination. Um, and that's the one I remember most vividly growing up with at my parents' house for a few years um, before that I don't know really call. Uh, how do you organize your books? I'm still figuring out what is my most preferred method. I would love to do a rainbow at some point, but these shelves don't really work for it as well as I would like. Um, so right now, after testing various options, um, it's done by size and then by author. Um, apart from my one shelf over in the corner, which is like the majority of my Harry Potter stuff, though not all of it, because I've got a few like, I still have to figure out what best to call them, but like, I, I collect a lot of books that are about Harry Potter, so like, if it's discussing like, theories on how the series would end before it ended, and like going into like the character histories that like and just a bunch of background stuff um, that are like unofficial books so I've got several of those that don't fit on the shelf um, and I've got the illustrated editions of books one through four um, and just yeah so most of it is on that one shelf separated from the rest and then the rest is as I mentioned. What is the longest book on your shelf? I believe it is one of the North and South books or Gone with the Wind because those are somewhere around a thousand pages or so. What's the shortest book on your shelf? Most likely that is going to be Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, like the textbook one that's super thin or one of the Wayside School books because those are only like maybe 50 pages, 75 at most I want to say. Um, so yeah. Is there a book you received as a birthday gift? Yes, I have received the Barnes & Noble collectible editions of uh, the Doctor Who books um, and then uh, those were given to me by my sibling Sasha um, and then I've also think I got the last song. Cat jumped in the box. 
I think I also got the last song by Nicholas Sparks from my mom for my birthday, but I'm not 100% if it was a birthday thing or just a, hey, I found this book for you and I thought you would like it thing. Um, I just tie it in with my birthday in my mind for sure because the main character, Ronnie, and I have the same birthday. And I believe it's down to like the month, day, and year, like the whole thing. Those are the main two that come to mind. I was struggling with this yesterday too because it's hard to remember which ones were birthday versus like Christmas or whatever. And most of my books are just ones I purchased myself to start with regardless. Is there a book from a friend on your shelf? And yes, there are a few. Um, there is the um, books I've gotten from my friend Eleanor. Um, and that includes Anne of Green Gables, uh, Bridge to Terabithia is from her. I'm trying to think of all the ones I found yesterday. Those are the main two I'm thinking of at the moment, but I know there's others. I'm just thinking again. Um, I've also gotten a couple of uh, the Doctor Who New Series Adventure books from my friend Beth. Um, and then I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it, but they're sprinkled around <laughs> here somewhere. Um, I will show pictures of more of them when I have a chance. I'll just like, as I'm editing, I'll throw in some clips of the books I'm mentioning and any others that I am blanking on at the moment. What is the most expensive book on your shelf? Undoubtedly the uh, Harry Potter textbook replicas from Alarm 18 that I just recently got a couple months ago. I've got Hogwarts of History, um, Advanced Potion Making, and Defense Against the Dark Arts, and they're amazing and they're beautiful and I don't regret. <laughs> What is the last book you read on your shelf? Currently I'm reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue um, and then the last book that I finished was um, The Afterlife of Holly Chase. Do you have a complete series? I have many. I've got Harry Potter, of course, in English and in French. I've got Twilight in English and in French. I've got Hunger Games. I have Divergent. I have The Fifth Wave. I have North and South. I think I have all of Uglies. I have House of Night, Ink Spell, The Selection, a Series of Unfortunate Events. Yeah, that's a pretty good like collection of what I've got. What is the newest addition to your shelf? Um, it's gonna be this whole giant pile of books that are on top of my bookshelves right now because I have no space for them. And basically, I, I got an order of like 15 books from Book Outlet that was delivered just a couple days ago to a week ago. Um, I also recently went to Second and Charles on my last trip to visit my family in Atlanta and I have a few books um, from Book of the Month for this month through here. I've got Long May She Rain, China Rich, China Rich Girlfriend, Love Life in the List, Doctor Who the Shakespeare Notebooks, Genuine Fraud, Invictus, the Wizard, a Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, The Phantom of the Opera, Doctor Who, Book of Universal Records. Um, I've got the second and third book from the Highest Floor series, whatever that one's called. I'm forgetting the name for book one at the moment. Um, then I've got The Dating Game, People Like Her, and uh, The Lookalike, and Turbulence as well. What is the oldest book on your shelf? Um, probably my Harry Potter books, because most of the time when I was younger, um, budget restraints meant that I had to trade in books um, often to get more books. Um, 
and then just getting new books without trade-ins was a little bit more of an occasional thing. Um, it's kind of a pretty decent mix of the two. Um, so yeah, a lot of my childhood books are just gone. So those, if not those, um, probably A Little Princess. What's a book you'd hate to let out of your sight? Honestly, my Harry Potter books would be pretty much the only choice simply because they are one of the last from like some of the last remaining of my original book collection um from back in the day <laughs> if they weren't half of them like falling apart because the paperbacks don't really hold up so well after like 30 plus rewrites I've lost count honestly I just know I was reaching around 20 back in 2011 <laughs> when it was still counting. Um, yeah, if it weren't for the fact that they are my oldest books and the paperback ones are kind of falling apart as it is, I honestly would still lend those out as well because I'm usually pretty good about that. I'm mostly just picky about who I lend my books to, not necessarily which books, which is why I do have probably like 20 to 30 books currently out on loan to like family and close friends at the moment. What is my most beat up book? Honestly, probably Order of the Phoenix because it's, it's sad to deal with a lot of tape surgery. <laughs> it, it's in bad shape. It, it's the reason that I am considering trying to get a, another copy because simply because I don't know how many more rereads it has left, honestly. Because usually I'm not one for multiple editions of books, but like, I don't know. <laughs> it's gotten so beat up over the years. <laughs> usually I'm good about keeping like my good books in good shape, but um, a paperback of that size just doesn't do the greatest. <laughs> what is my most pristine book and honestly I, I'm not really sure because like I mentioned most of my books are in pretty good shape otherwise um, maybe the Alarm 18 ones simply because they are friggin beautiful um, but yeah a, a book that doesn't belong to you other than the books that are technically my husband's that are setting up here which is um, the Dan Brown books for Robert Langdon um, and that I have unhauled and he has claimed and the monster uh, the, the, the mortal instrument books that I've been borrowing from his library to read that's that's all I've got that isn't mine at the moment the last book that I borrowed officially from someone was all the light we cannot see which was from my sister Nikki. Uh, do you have a book that's your favorite color? The Doctor Who Barnes and Noble collectibles are probably the closest spot on. That that like TARDIS royal blue color is is really like my favorite at the moment. It was pink for the longest time, but honestly, that TARDIS royal blue is stolen the crown recently. A book that's been on your shelf the longest and you still haven't read it. It took me ages to figure this out the other day because I've made a point of trying to read all of my unread like oldest books for the last couple of years. I think the only one out of my like original books um, is Mist, the book of Atris that I got from Sasha because it's intimidating to me and I know trying to play Miss the game was always like a mind boggle because it just literally just like we're just gonna throw you in a desert with no instructions have fun and I'm just like I don't know what to do though <laughs> so but doing that and just just miss on its own just kind of being a little bit outside of my comfort zone I'm just really intimidated and just one day I'm gonna get to it it just hasn't happened yet. 
And of all the books on your shelf, which was the first that you read? Maybe like the Phantom Tollbooth, the Wayside School series. Oh, and then the other one I was thinking of, which is a homeschool book because some of my older siblings did homeschool so I just kind of like still had access to some of their books when I was growing up. Um, the Secret of the Maple Tree. All of the nostalgia when I just managed to stumble upon a copy of it and the sequel Song of the Brook recently when I went book shopping with my mom a couple months ago. Yeah. And then the last question, do I have any signed books? And I do have a few, not very many. Um, I got a couple of the Barnes and Noble signed books. Um, Save the date. I believe the sun is also a star is one that's signed. Um, but the one that I really enjoy, even though none of them have been signed in person, um, I did get a divided mind. Um, as like my very first arc that was like specifically sent to me. Um, I believe it was the first one. Um, and then I got it from the early reviewers group from library thing and it just happened to come personalized and signed so that was pretty exciting. <laughs> Those are the tags that I uh, have gone through. I'm hoping that I didn't really miss anything because this is like refilmed because it just didn't work too great when I tried to do this yesterday. Um, but yeah, uh, this is my new channel and I don't know how to outro yet but I'll figure something out. Um, in the meantime, any books that are familiar to you or any books that you think I might enjoy based off of some of the stuff I mentioned or what you see in the background, you know, like, let me know because are any of us not looking for books, really? Is that even a thing? I don't know how to not look for books.